new year, new aims. If you desire to set up a crypto portfolio, there is a certain cryptocurrency that is worth your attention and consideration. This is, of course, Cardano ADA. The year is embedded with opportunities for Cardano, and stuff like this doesn't come around often. It's just like a see and grab bonus. This is not the moment to mince words. Of course, Cardano has had a stormy 2022, and critics have painted different pictures of the coin in negative ways. Yet if history has taught us a pivotal lesson, it's that this is when there is the most to gain. In Cardano's five-year existence, it has been through so many highs and dips. Cardano is not a stranger in the crypto market, and its streaming advantages always pose as solid catalysts. Crypto investments are always plagued with potent fears, and some predictions do little to help matters. A notable announcement about cryptocurrencies was made by the Bank of England's Bailey. He reiterated a dire crypto warning, which is for investors to get prepared to lose all their money. He used the fact that unbacked crypto has no intrinsic value to support his claim. Quote, if you want to invest in these assets, okay, but be prepared to lose all your money. End quote. He added that artificial intelligence tools could be a means to create automatic control of suspicious cryptocurrencies. Bailey stated that there were so many bad actors in the crypto world and AI could be harnessed to automatically weed them out instantaneously. His comments came as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies collapsed in price after Binance temporarily halted all withdrawals, citing extreme market conditions. One bad apple does not spoil the whole bunch, however. This idea can be used to discard Bailey's comments for a while. However, the Fed's actions have affected the entire bunch of cryptocurrencies. There are no exceptions when it comes to the gallant role of the Federal Reserve to limit inflation. On December 14, 2022, the Fed raised its benchmark interest rate to the highest level seen in 15 years, signaling that the fight against inflation is not over despite some recent promising signs. Staying in tune with expectations, the rate-setting Federal Open Market Committee voted to boost the overnight borrowing rate by half a percentage point, bringing it to a targeted range between 4.25% and 4.5%. This increase broke the string of four straight three-quarter point hikes, and this is the most aggressive policy move since the early 1980s. Alongside the increase came indications that officials expect to keep rates higher through 2023, with no decreases until 2024. Initially, investors reacted negatively to the expectation that rates could stay higher for longer periods. But during a news conference, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said it was necessary to keep the fight against inflation so that the expectations of higher prices do not become ingrained. He said, Inflation data received so far for October and November show a welcome reduction in monthly pace of price increases, but it would take substantially more evidence to have confidence that inflation is on a sustained downward path. The new level marks the highest the Fed's fund rate has been since December 2007, just ahead of the global financial crisis, and as the Fed was loosening policy aggressively to combat what would morph into the worst economic downturn since the Great Depression. This time, the Fed is increasing rates into what is anticipated to be a moribund economy in 2023. The Fed officials believing raising rates can help take money out of the economy, reducing demand, and ultimately pulling prices lower after inflation spiked to its highest level in more than 40 years. 2023 did start on a good note, but this does not evade the fears that are on the horizon. The Fed's recent decision has contributed to this myriad of troubles. But in the same way, missing out on great gains as a result of fear is the wrong move. Traders betting on a market-wide decline were caught off guard as the recent broad recovery saw $200 million in shorts or bets against the price increases getting liquidated. As a result, the amount added to the more than $150 million in shorts liquidated earlier this week as Bitcoin and Ethereum broke above key resistance levels and major tokens like Solana and Cardano rose as much as 20%. According to data from CoinGlass, similar levels of liquidation on short trades have not been seen since October 2022. EtherTracked futures experienced $110 million in both short and long liquidations. The most among all major cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin futures, saw $77 million in liquidations, while Avalanche saw $4.5 million in losses. In addition, the crypto capital founder, Dam Garbadello, is quite optimistic about a comeback of the bulls to the crypto market. From his perspective, he reasoned that bears are getting exhausted. 
Indeed, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have started on the right foot with a steady increase in price over the past few weeks. Traders betting on a slowdown in US inflation instigated the drive of the price of Bitcoin to its highest level in a month. The biggest cryptocurrency in terms of market cap rose above $18,000, according to CoinMarketCap. The shocking urge in the Bitcoin price influenced the speedy rise of altcoins. Most cryptocurrencies are currently trading in the green. Cardano ADA has benefited immensely from this breakthrough. And the fascinating fact about this entire move was that it buoyed from consistent well accumulation. Santiment, an on-chain analytics firm, recently reported that Millionaire Well Addresses purchased 217.2 million ADA at the beginning of 2023. Yes, it's time to put 2022 in the review mirror. Finally, the past year was a very sad story to tell because it was dominated by controversies and bankruptcies, and some cryptocurrencies eventually became completely worthless. Right now, judging from Mike Novogratz's claim about the crypto market being pretty clean, it seems like the bad actors have been purged and there are enough reasons to be optimistic that a sense of normalcy and balance would return to the crypto space in 2023. Of course there are unforeseen catastrophes, but the aim for this year is to enjoy huge returns on investments. Based on the past bear and bull market cycles, when markets get choppy, investors look for safer and less risky plays, in which many opt for Bitcoin. But there might be more in store for 2023 as cryptocurrencies like Cardano are chock full of updates. Recently the ears of some investors tingled when a famed billionaire investor, Mark Cuban, aired his grievances about gold and why he hopes that Bitcoin falls further. During a podcast, Cuban said that although both Bitcoin and gold are stolers of value, the world's first cryptocurrency is more attractive for many more reasons. He explained that unlike Bitcoin, gold can be confiscated and if things went to hell in a handbasket, gold could be stolen right out of one's hands. The conversation went on and he summed up his argument with a strange wish, that Bitcoin fell even more. Down more than 70% during the past year, Bitcoin has been in the midst of a major slump since hitting an all-time high of nearly $70,000 in November 2021. Cuban had publicly expressed that he owns Bitcoin and it seems unreasonable for him to desire its decrease in value. However, he understands his emphasis. His reasoning is centered on his conviction that Bitcoin will eventually rise as demand for the asset increases, but Cuban said he hopes Bitcoin goes down a lot further so he can buy some more. There are few other assets in the world like Bitcoin that many investors dread its rise at the moment. Now there's a real possibility that cryptocurrencies will continue to increase in price over the long term, and the demand and the influx of upgrade rises. Cardano ADA, of course, is not an exception. Last year, certain Cardano analysts reiterated the fact that there was immense potential in Cardano, and that the plunging price chart should not be a deterrent to investing. Some consider it as mere bluffs while others gave it a try. Now that Cardano ADA has kickstarted a rally, the coin is too obvious to ignore. The previous year has undoubtedly played host to disheartening development for Cardano investors. However, on the heels of big sell-offs, the ADA token may also be worth a look for risk-tolerant investors. Cardano has the potential to benefit from the shifts in the crypto and blockchain project spaces, especially headwinds plaguing Solana, one of its key competitors. Problems related to the FTX fiasco prompted some projects and developers to leave the Solana network altogether. Cardano could ultimately benefit from the situation and can be better poised to challenge Ethereum in the crypto space. It remains a relatively high risk investment and it won't be a great fit for those who aren't willing to embrace the volatility in the near term. For investors looking to score big gains in the cryptocurrency and blockchain service space, the ADA token stands out as an interesting rebound play. But of course, what are your thoughts on this? Let us have them in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video, but before then, check out our other videos to find out how Cardano's living up to the dream of being the Ethereum killer. And as always, make sure you click on the subscribe and notification buttons.